We've had a lot of those geomagnetic storms, Molly. Absolutely, and it's so fun to see it here in Milwaukee. Up until this year, I don't think I've, I, there have been like chances, yeah. but they've always been low on the horizon. You can really only see them with a picture. I think some of what we saw last night was visible to the naked eye. So that's where I'm gonna start as well. Tracy sent us these pictures from Sheboygan. You can see those beautiful colors. I will say a lot of these pictures, it looks a lot better with long exposure photography. So if you let the camera stay open for quite some time, but spectacular to see absolutely no matter what. Sammy sent these in from Watertown and it's crazy to see them not just in the city, but with the lights of the city. Usually you have to go somewhere dark. So it was a really powerful storm that caused this. Now we're back to dark, 51 degrees in Elm Grove. I grab a jacket as you head out the door this morning from our camera out at Blue Mound in Moreland. 52 in Waukesha, that's our camera at Carroll University. Some areas inland starting off in the 40s to kick off the day today, but we are going to stay on the south side of this cold front today. It'll be windy this afternoon or at least breezy. That's going to help temperatures soar up into the 80s this afternoon, but watch what happens as we head into the weekend. We go from the orange shading and the upper level temperatures back down in the blue. So a taste of summer today, it's not going to last too long. And we likely have some of, if not the coolest air of the season on the way to kick off the work week next week. So some cooler days definitely in the forecast. It's not going to last for too long. We do have a little bit of a warm up as we head towards the end of next week. 80s today, 60s for the weekend, Monday and Tuesday. High temperatures likely just in the low and the middle 50s. There is also a chance that that we could see frosts and freezes as we head towards the beginning of next week. Then we start to warm back up, back above average as we head into Thursday. Also notice Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all bringing us a chance for some showers. No day looks like a complete washout, and there's still some uncertainty with exactly when this rain rolls through or if we even have enough moisture in the air to see it. First, what's going to happen late this evening, overnight tonight? A cold front's going to move through. It's dry as it moves through. It'll bring in some clouds. That's what's going to drop our temperatures about 20 degrees as we head into the day tomorrow. Then notice 6 o'clock on Saturday, so lately afternoon into the evening. It's not a lot of rain. Some places stay dry, but we could see just a few showers. There's heavier rain on this model in Illinois. A few of the models keep some of that heavier rain near and south of I-94 in southeastern Wisconsin, but most of your Saturday most of your weekend is dry. We're dry today. It's a low chance for rain as we head through Saturday, Sunday and Monday. I do think chances are just a little bit better to get a few showers Sunday and Monday, but a 20 degree temperature swing this afternoon into tomorrow afternoon. We're going from the low 80s to the 60s, so feeling like summer today, then it's back to reality. Temperatures in the 60s, a chance for some showers as we head into the afternoon hours tomorrow, maybe a few more on Sunday and Monday. Overnight lows likely down in the 30s Tuesday and Wednesday, so we mm -hmm. could see our first freeze of the season, especially inland next week. Weather whiplash. Yeah, for sure. for a little real. bit of everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Molly, thank you.